These three plugins are a great help in any surround setup. Let's start with the Matrix Mixer. It offers a gain, delay and phase network that helps with down mixes and up mixes of different formats. You can also use the Matrix Mixer to redistribute a surround format. The audio source channels are listed in the column on the left hand side. In this case, it's just a stereo signal and the destination channels, 5.1 in this case, are on top of the matrix. As most browsers do not support surround playback, make sure that you have downloaded the HD version of this video from our website and play it in a surround capable host like the VLC player. If you are listening on a surround setup, you will hear that the signal is added to your surround channels, just like shown in the output meter. If you are up mixing a stereo music track, you could send both left and right signal to minus 6 dB to the center channel, so that the center channel doesn't clip. The low frequency effects channel is usually reserved for FX sounds, so it's not used for musical signals. Left rear and right rear speakers start with 0 dB for each. Right click a node to invert the phase. We could do that for the rear speakers. The delay network works exactly the same way. To add a delay, for example on the rear speakers, increase the value on the corresponding channels. You can choose between different values, time in milliseconds, distance in meters and samples. If a delay is applied to a node, the node will have a green frame when you switch back to the gain mode. As always in Vienna Suite Pro, a control or command click resets the value for each node. The Surround Balance Pro is the ideal tool to balance your mixes in any surround format. Control or command click to reset the dot your surround source in the middle of the surround field. When you hold down shift, the dot will keep the distance from the center and you can circle around. Click the speaker icons to disable and enable those speakers. Let's scan through the controls. Center lets you adjust the volume of the center channel if there is a center channel available. The default setting is to include the center channel in balancing and panning, but you can also unlink the center channel if you like. LFE controls the level of the low frequency effect channel if available. Range controls the decibel range of the jellyfish level meter and fall off controls the fall off time. Angle and radius are displayed in the lower left corner. You can also fine tune the settings here with your mouse. And you can adjust the spread of your signal in the stereo field. 50% is the default setting. The pan law determines how the signal level is affected by panning, with minus 3 dB as default setting. Let's switch back to simple stereo and have a look at the Surround Pan Pro. This plugin basically has the same controls as the Surround Balance Pro, but it deals with stereo signals exclusively. Holding Shift will pin the dots to a radius and you will see that the stereo triangle will switch to orange when you invert left and right channels. Again, you can enable and disable the speakers if you like.